This verdict shows that on one hand that Rios Mont um, should be convicted for genocide on very clear criteria, and he certainly was responsible for the genocide in Guatemala, but there are other um, high officials implicated in the genocide. And the most important thing is that this verdict um, be respected and, and um, the court respected, and that uh, the verdict uh, and sentence be fulfilled, and that the court be fully respected, and that um, Judge Yasmin Barrio's life be protected, and all of the witnesses and victims, because a lot of people who are responsible for genocide are still uh, free, and they are very aggressive because they said that the victims were communists and subversives, and that's why they deserved to be exterminated. And they accused the court and the judge of being communists as well. And so that shows that very little has really changed in Guatemala. So we're no longer in the Cold War, but certainly the uh, rhetoric smacks of Cold War rhetoric. So this is a very delicate moment in Guatemala, and the most important thing is not to take a step backwards. For me, there are four important reasons why we need to demand that the sentence be served, um, the verdict that was handed down on on May 10th. First of all, this is a precedent, and the first president in the whole world um, where a verdict has been handed down for genocide um, of a um, uh, head of state in the country where it, in fact, occurred. Secondly, this conviction for genocide proves that the victims spoke truth. For 32 years, victims have been seeking justice and have been documenting the abuses and suffering attacks by those who are responsible for genocide. They were and we were accused of being liars. They said that we invented things and they turned their back on us, and we were not supported by them. The hatred against the Mayans and the victims of the genocide is very a tangible history um, in the last 32 years in Guatemala. So justice has prevailed, though it sure took its time. But justice is prevailing, and the most important thing is that the sentence be served and the verdict respected. The third crucial element has to do with um, the region that the genocide was committed in against the Ishil people. You know that there were 200,000 victims of the genocide in Guatemala. There are 50,000 people who were disappeared. And there are victims throughout the country, not just in the region that was addressed in the trial. And so, in this regard, we are all Ishils. We identify fully with them because we all 
suffered genocide y, as y Mayans. And we need to remember that the policy of extermination eh, and genocide Mayans, against Mayans eh, was also a policy of extermination of non-Mayans as well. Unionist student leaders no also suffered. So the genocide was by no means limited to the region of the territory of the Shield people. So this is a crucial um, legal precedent for our country, and I think it can serve as the cornerstone for a new relationship um, amongst Guatemalans. And I want to stress something that we have been saying for years. We have the International Criminal Court, but this International Criminal Court has not uh, convicted genocide that has been committed. It's waiting for new cases. It does, it's not retroactive. It doesn't address those cases that were committed before the court was created. So the statute of limitations on the International Criminal Court should be lifted. So this case really represents, a, a, it poses a tremendous challenge to humanity. It's a challenge for all countries um, who have allowed for genocide to occur in Guatemala. No quiero polemizar esto, pero I don't want to be controversial, but I do see that it, under Ronald Reagan and Bush administration, there was um, a fantasy created of a third world war, and this fantasy really uh, damaged the mentality of the military in Guatemala and Guatemalan fascists, and they still believe uh, that, fascism, uh, that communism exists. I don't know what they're referring to. But the truth is that Pero la aquí es que here in Guatemala, mujeres, women were raped, niñas, girls eh, were raped, niños, they strangled children, pueblos, they enteros. assassinated and Solo wiped out entire indigenous peoples just because they thought they were so-called subversives and communists. Eh. La humanidad debe, debe explicar so esta, humanity esta really has to look into what occurred.